You're tuned to Boss Radio 1 on the land With a temperature of 85 degrees for a night Kind of warm in Kingston today, baby Greetings and welcome to the second episode of Jesse I Interviews. I'm Jesse I, and once again I'm recording this on the lands of the Wurundjeri and Boon Wurrung people of the Kulin Nation, lands which are now known as the City of Melbourne in Australia. I want to pay my respects and acknowledge the traditional owners of these lands, past, present and future, because I feel that it's important to acknowledge that this always has been and always will be Aboriginal land, and sovereignty was never ceded. This episode features another interview recorded in Kingston, Jamaica in mid-2003, this time with Manly Augustus Buchanan, aka Big Youth. This was recorded outside under a tree in his front yard, so once again you can hear a lot of background noise, the sounds of daily life in Jamaica, kids laughing and squealing, cars driving, even someone asking about a dog. For those who missed the intro to the first episode of the podcast, I'd like to explain again that I'm presenting these interviews warts and all, with as little editing as possible. Normally when I play interviews on the radio, I would edit them down to just the best questions, but for this podcast I want to present them in full, including even the banter before and after. In this case, it means you can hear some of the conversation before the interview officially starts, as we discuss touring Australia and the lack of financial rewards in such a small market. You can also hear him offer herb to my friends, and then at the end, Ranking Yoni asks a great question about the motorbike in the studio for the recording of the song S90 Skank. So here we go. Jesse I interviews Big Youth, Kingston, Jamaica, 2003. You understand? It's not all about money every time, you know, but... If you come to Australia, you're going to have to buy presents for people back in Jamaica and Sorry, stuff like mean. that. You need to enough money to, to at least pay for the... Yeah, everything. Man, you have to get some PM, man. So it don't make sense to go and do a concert so far for nothing, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Love of the people is all right, yes, but at the same time, it's our life. That's how we live, yeah? yeah. You got to make money somehow. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, this is all set up. So I'll read a little intro like it's going there live, but I'll edit it when we get back to Australia and... Yeah, if, so if you say anything, you want me to leave it out, or if you want anything, to answer... Anything you say, me I say. Yeah, all right. That's all right. Oh, I got some. Well, well. Yeah. <laughs> all right. It's making me thirsty. Yeah, <laughs> smell it, smell it. This is, this is, this is heavy. All right, right now I'm in Kingston, Jamaica, with one of the original legends of reggae music, the original big Rasta DJ, Ja Youth. Thanks yes. for joining us here on Chant Down Babylon. Yes, I have a chat them down. Yes. I always like to start my interviews at the beginning um, with a little bit of background. So if you could tell us what, where you were born, what life was like for you growing up as a, as a young, young picnic. Well, I'm born in the heart of the city, you know, the, you know, the heart of Kingston, downtown Kingston, yeah? Mm-hmm. Father was a policeman, wicked. Wicked? We could, of course. He didn't take care of us, me right. and my brothers and sisters. And my mother was a preacher. Right. Yeah? So she played both roles. Right. Of being mother and father at the same time, schooling us. So, so life wasn't all that bad, but life wasn't a better rose. Sure. Yeah? So we have to pick and make ends meet to survive, give thanks we're still here, yeah? Yeah. So what was it like as you got older and like when, when did you first come to start thinking about music in the very early days? In the early days now, hear what happened now. We start to get conscious, you know, and deal with togetherness. All right, it's like what they call gangs. Yep. It's what we would call unity. Because being on the street, you have to fend for yourself. So you build up a community around your surroundings and you're bridging them. You try to share a love mm. and unity. And to, if you have something, you share it with your bridging, like it's your own blood, your own flesh and blood. So that unity grows strong on the street, you know? And we see political unfairness with people, discrimination against trust and people disrespecting people. So 
we had a strong space a place for being in love with each other and make that unity, you know. Right. Then we follow off the music, you know, from a young childhood days, even in school and church. Me always love perform on stage, yes, yeah. singing churchical songs. Then all of a sudden, me I never like what was being said, man. You understand? Cause everybody was chicka bow and bend down low and yeah? yeah. And we think people suffering need a upward thinking. People should be looking up instead of getting down. Yeah. So it's like we start grow up now, you know, cause them teach us Christianity first till we love Rastafari and what's a Rastafari is naturality, so it's the love. So instead of people singing about hit me back and bend down and simmer down, we think that people should get up, live it up, Ja. Yeah. yeah, step it up, Ja. You know, look forward, don't look down, don't look back. Yes. So that, that's why Big would come in and start to all like look at sound mics, tip a tone, I ride a president and you know, make great statements and seeing people react to it. So subconscious mind tell me that I have something, you know? Yeah. So I keep on staying conscious towards that level. Yeah. So back in those early days, um, what came first for you? I mean, wait, did you first start up Rasta and then enter the music business? or? Yeah, man, it was Rasta, man. Because that... From, from early? Early, man. Early. Early back in the 60s, man. Yeah. You understand? Because I leave school from me about 13, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get for graduate and certain things, but my bright, because when I leave school, that is when I start to learn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you understand? Cause, and even until now, I'm still open for learning, so I'm always ready to learn. Yeah. So how how did it come that I mean if you if your mother was a, a preacher, how did you come to embrace Rastafari? Because the whole thing is like Christianity, Christianity farm is what they teach, yeah. Yep. And they teach you in a way to be humble and be nice, but within a Christian farm. And that, that's how we get to know Rastafari within a natural farm. Because Rasta is not Christianity, it's naturality. Yeah. Even, even, even the hair upon your head, you just love it and it grows because it's natural. So God makes people to be yeah. before man may come. So we go through all that research and all that studies towards normality and naturality and the love. Because you have Rasta even back in the days still have a, a weird word, backward thinking, you know. Never really have no direction and know where them go. Till you rise up and show people that it's out a different stage because you have Rasta from Sakla and Ashes where people live on the dumps and wear mm -hmm. dirty things and we as a generation grow up making them know that it's not so because Rasta is clean and yeah, cleanliness clean. is God. Ah. So that, 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 that's how we have the old joy right. of, of what was happening. Right. Well, I noticed looking at your nails, at your finger. It's alright. It's okay, I'll just pause this. No, no. No, mom. I'm not seeing any dog. Yes. Yeah, I was just asking, just looking at your fingernails, I noticed that your nails are longer as well. Is that the same same sort of thing as the Nazarite vow is, is letting it grow? Um, you what see time, it's a natural? What time we cut them, man? All right. these things is natural. Yeah. You understand? And to be clean more than you have to trim them. Right. So, it's not a caveman thing. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. So, you know, more time you keep a couple of nails. Just people physical well-being, ain't Sorry. nothing to it. Right. There's no culture, no nothing. Right, okay. Yeah. All right, well, um, getting back to the music, the early days, um, chatting on sound systems at first, um, how did you actually learn 
the, your craft, the actual, your rhymes, how did, where, how did you learn how to perform? You know, like I tell you, it's, it's a gift. Yeah. It's a gift, cause, like I tell you, the, the love that was being preached, man, wasn't the kind of love that I think the generation seeking. Right. Because the type of love what people sing about baby, baby love, that is emotion that is in everyone. Yeah? Yeah, totally. So, we can share that emotion if we connect and come together. Yeah. So, the love what we really need is togetherness love because we grew up and know about Come from me born from the colonial days, you know. So we know about racial discriminations and yeah? yeah. Even when they say Rasta back in the days, your mother and your father despise and reject you because the way the system yeah. set all of these things to look to drive you away from naturality and the reality mm -hmm. of the real thing for you to live a life that the system wants for you to live. Yeah. yeah. It's still the same way. Right? It is. Even in Australia. Yeah, cause it's it's like sign and symbol and brotherhood systems and like I say, large and churches and different denominations. So we don't even know what all of these things is about while everyone is healing for the same creator, same God and in, in whichever term, yeah? Yeah. But yet, you come with different denominations and you set up the people. So what we need is togetherness, yeah, totally. unification. So with... With the pressures that we feel within our environment where we grow up, car. At many times we are victims of our environments. Because through political division and me and you live round in this area, the man from the next area you are being branded, so you become a victim of that environment and it's now up to you not to become a victim of the system which is wider than the local environments that you live in. Yeah? Yeah. Because if you think worldwide, when you become a victim of the system, then you do. You end up in prison, you end up in the cemetery and whatever. So, so you know, people like we were, street kid, them call we gangster, whatever. In, what, in whichever term they want to term it. No, say we have the power and we, we need the joy to be human beings, to live and tell other people to live good. Share the love amongst each other, don't destroy each other. And to me, that wasn't in the music. You see? Yeah. So, with, with the force of Rastafari coming and bringing Rasta to the people, because big youth bring the whole Rasta concept to the music, you know. Mm -hmm. Which give the music recognition. Them get to Bob Marley, but it's big youth comes and not a Jedi in Babylon. You understand? Yeah. And even make statement against the Pope alone because we know what say Catholicism will come with Christianity, come separate and divide. Yeah. So people like me you now just come up and we start lick out against that system and come we used to DD that the DD day, but I say a joke that. Cause when we sing ja 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 wa wa wa. I've seen a different reaction from the world force that these people need something to hold on to. I love to gravitate to that mm. way. Can share the unity, yeah? Yeah. So you find I get conscious, man, and I start making the political statements about injustice and all those things that surrounds us. Yep. And the sound system was the way that we get the chance to express. And then I start making all these records, the killer, screaming target, S90, scan, chichi run, to mention a few ones. I find that I'm a force. And I get conscious, cause I'm not ignorant, yeah? yeah. And I develop it up till Bob Marley has the soul rebel from then. Come and say not to jail and them start chat up and big you thing. Them even stifle me up until today I've, I've, I've been stifled. Right. Because I don't sign up with no damages and a lot of stupid agencies. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Well, no, well, back back in um, in the 70s you started your own label, right? Negus Nagas. 
Yeah. Can you tell us a little about the label and why you started that up? Because, like, like I tell you, I put seven songs. At once, I had seven songs in both radio station chart. Right. They call me the phenomenon. That mean I was undescribable. Right. And, yeah. I, yeah, and with all, with, with all these things, I was still living in a broken down shack down on Princess Street. Right. And all these producers was reaping sweets and driving fine vehicles. Yeah? Yeah. And I may ride a little beat of old bikes. So, I started to think about making my own music. And, like I did a version of War. World is a ghetto, yeah. and turn it and call it streets in Africa. And at that time, maybe the local public them say, "Boy, big you can't sing." Yeah, but financially, the returns of that song that they sing that I can't sing was better than all these seven songs and all the rest of songs that I have in the top ten and twenty and forty, whatever. Yeah. So I, I start to, to, to see a reward of my labor and I say I'm not going to listen to people, I'm going to do what I have to do. Right. Right. Then, then I continue making nice songs like African Data, Hell is for Heroes, Downtown Kingston, Pollution. So, why I don't even know. Then, you know, me make statements like me saying I'll fire to the Pope, to the Pope of Rome, and Pope Paul feel it, you know? Yeah. Kill Pope Paul and all the seven steals thereafter. You know them going to fight me? Mm. Yeah, totally. Anybody saying that kind of thing will get a fight from the system. Yeah, so, me just think about survival, so I'm not think about the system. Because when me, when me grow, was growing up, I never have no money, man. Mm. I never have nothing. Only have a head hoping to get something, yeah? So, if you fight me for speak the truth, it's not gonna bother me. I'm gonna speak the truth and speak it ever because it's what it will. And I'll still speak the truth and tell the youth the truth and tell them make love and not war because that is my mission. Respect that. Yeah. Well, talking about, um, you just mentioned a minute ago about um, singing. You said some people said big youth couldn't sing. But obviously you can, because why else would, would, would people love the music so much? God, but, yeah, that is, that is just, I, I would think it's people who's covetous. People who would just like to have me wrapping around their things. fingers, yeah. doing what they want to do for their own benefits. Yeah. So, I get wise, because at one stage, the business gets stagnant, because you know that we have a dialect. That is not everything that is being said people can understand so easily. So, knowing that I'm a classical person, I start to make song like it's not unusual. Papa was a rolling stone. Love and happiness, car. My cover versions in order to get other fans yeah, okay. to listen to my true message that me have to offer and to the things that me feel. Mm and the unfairness that life has shown me that I can come and express. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Cause if you notice, me never really sing for be a fame style you know, and the joy of making nonsense to be on top. Me have to stand up and deal with the truth. Mm. Yeah? Because me is about the unification of mankind. No race, no class, no creed, no colour. Human being. Unity. That's it. Yeah. So, like I say, when, 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 when them say no, you can't, can't sing, them, them want some song half key, then I go around and change it and I prove that to them that them sick. I come to song like every nigga is a star, because we found the high tree and took off. Hit the road, Jack. Yeah. Ray Charles says the greatest version you have ever heard, yeah? Wicked, wicked. <laughs> so, so what do you think? I don't, I don't, I don't sing. I just, I just the toasting DJ song for promoters. I never sing one for them. <laughs> I think them for niggas, na guys. Right. Can nobody can dictate to me. No one can tell me. I going half care. I going in the yeah. direction. Cause people want to change. 
Because I think I have my style of singing different from how people place things. Guys, what I feel I generate and do my thing. Yeah, well, I, I was, I've always thought, um, looking, cause people talk about, like, Sizzler sometimes is a sing J in between yeah. singing and DJing, but I always, and Eco Mouth the same way, but uh, to me, I always, I always thought Big Youth was like uh, the first sing J. It's me, it's me. God, is it? It's the melody car. They ain't the no, they need the type of melody that I have. Yeah. The, when them call it DJ, I make them know it's a singer car mm. in my own rights. So it's, it, it's my thing, everybody take. The whole rapping, the whole rapping business, it's big you would start that, man. If you talk like that, if you say so. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. There's a, I got a tune recently, a year or so ago, where the rap come from. In big sure. Yeah. The guy, if it wasn't five... History. Yeah, if it was yeah. for, for that year I am big you, this rap, rap thing wouldn't be going on. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just pause one second. Yeah. But now I teach me, I do an interview with me. Yeah. yeah. Teach him still. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah, let out. I'm going to let Just let the car go. Let the noise. Yeah, I'm on it. Very nice. Yeah. All right, well, back, um, I remember reading they used to call you the human gleaner. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. God. Because I never, like I said, I never scared to leak out. Talk about what's happening. Yeah. Because mm. that is what it's all about. That is what the music really at, is not. Tell people for this try, people. Tell people for it. You understand? Yeah. And promote slackness, disrespect women, and promote guns. You understand? Yeah. Me always try to show them, see, I can't call the sister, them not concubine and all them things. Teach them, show them the way. Mm. You understand? Yep. And tell the youth they must gain education. If you can remember screaming target my first album, I tell people don't be literate. Go to school and learn the rule. Don't be no fool. Mm. You see? Yeah. So and and you touch statements that politicians made because they are the great mistakes that have people to live away. Yeah, them and the Christians and do as I say but not what I do and they pretend and live in all kind of pretense while the people still live in all kind of poverty and distress and separation and war against each other. Mm. So are the leaders are the real problem and are the people. Because more time it's not the man that do something, you know, it's the man who teach him and tell him to do it. I set him to do it, yeah. Set up circumstances that yeah. give him no other choice. Thank you. Mm. So, me sometimes, so, sometimes, sometimes, you know, that they, they, them think that we don't want to sing, but you have to be wise within this time, you know. Because when you speak the truth, you target, because you say, you, you, you can't say, oh, them put out Mali, because it was a force to reckon with now, mm. after our same tradition. Yeah. Because at one stage, you never have the guts. To stand up, you know. Come leave from the Rasta culture and say, boy, I'm a rebel, soul rebel now. But this little big you would come now and say, Ja, 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 Wa, Wa, Wa. Naughty Dread, Lion, Zion. Dread in the Bible, man. Come on, no, man. Mm -hmm. So, them old Jayot. And push that force and see Jai was still alive today. I can still go to Australia and New Zealand yeah. and Japan and still. Yeah? Yeah. Speak words of truth and endure. Yes, sir. So, it's just a power. Some movies were for me now, you know, I write books to really tell the yeah. truth because the half has never been told. Mm -hmm. Speaking of movies, there's um, great footage of you in the film Rockers, going yeah. back to the 70s. Yeah. And for a lot of people in Australia, because we never get to see videos or stage shows or anything, that's one way to see you. Right. How did you come to be involved in that film? Because it all made around us. Yeah. You understand? If you notice, know Rockers do have a story, you know. It just grow, flows. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's just some. Um, that I tell you, you know, like if you remember Peter Tass said, them fool some people sometimes, but they can't fool the people all the time. So, 
Even the music, them use the music to fool a lot of people and tell a lot of lies, man. Reggae music? Of course. And all kind of music. Because music has no language and no barriers, you know. Me, me deal with message music. Mm. Gamble off used to write message music. Wake up everybody, no more sleeping in bed. No more backward thinking, it's time for thinking ahead. Because the world changed so very much from where it used to be. Yeah. All we see is hatred and war and poverty. Them people there is writers and singers. Mm. One man say, we're not going to have no peace till God sit at a conference table. You understand? You have people like Nina Simone and some great people who are singing great things. You understand? Yeah. People like me listen to culture you know, and Bacharach and him love thing and the people with knowledgeable sense. Mm. So you used to listen to Coltrane because I always heard in the song John Coltrane died in, in vain of a love supreme. Still, you understand? Because them is the people that really stand out and check for the well-being and the welfare of the people. Because the people of this world is my family, you know. Right. And people that check for the welfare of my family is checking for me. Yeah. So, evening rock, any music that cater for the people and tell the people something with meaning. Yeah. Those are my singers. Right. Respect. Or, um, or looking at the um, the albums, you had a lot of albums out on the Trojan label in the 70s. Yeah, with them rap. Yeah. Got Trojan, that's teeth, you know. Right. For 28 years, they more of my money, I know, right. you know. And has the situation has, still hasn't changed? Right now, right now, right now, it's litigation, so right. I want to go in court because I need pay. Yeah. My children need all of that money that they have for 28 yeah. years. Yeah, the record's been selling for decades. Oh, come on, man. And no, and there's no them republishing and reissuing. Yeah. Still? Yeah. What about, I want to ask you about Blood and Fire, because I know they put out the set, the yeah, Universal Dream. Yeah, we just give them that set and we're trying, we're trying to have a good relation. Yeah. And that going to come down on them. You understand? It seems like they're doing a good job of, they're trying to make sure the people get the due rewards. Yeah, it's business that you get some reward, yeah. It's it, it better than the real thing, you know. But... This whole business is a trick, man. People come and them show you everything. Yeah? Mm. But when the final day comes, it's nothing for you to get. Because remember, I have Isaiah hooked up with Virgin from over the years. That is my real album that I produce. First profit of all. Yeah, my production. Nigo Snagas. Trojan a thief that I had to put my brother's name onto it. Right. Because back in the days, me just know about making records and releasing them. Sure. Me don't know about my mechanical Copy rights. And, and why do you have all these people who call them niggas from Downey and all about that know the real deal and collecting our things? Not for them driving big cars and old man, old mansion up on these hills. While the real people that put these things together still live like dogs. I've seen artists die around here. Looking like shit, man. Really? Yeah. I heard uh, Iroy was doing it tough before he died. His... Right. All, look at all them. All them guys, them, them come and copy out Jayot and ride over and them make a name. Mm. And still die like dogs, mm. yeah? Because them never know. Just like myself. I'm not afraid for something you never know about my rights. But no, I know I'm going to it. Yeah. It's my children in every time. So if mm. I don't achieve, I hope. They will. Yeah. Well, let's hope so. Yes. No, well, they'll have to because I said, if you listen to the song where the rap come from, you know, I tell you about some people who never write a note, who never can sing, mm. but they go around collecting people publishing. So they better yeah. watch out because we have a business fix. We set a business straight. So we need to collect. Yeah. True. Well, going back to the very, the very early start, who was the producer? That, what was the first tune that you recorded in the studio? All right, you have, you have a one foot man called Jimmy Radway. Yep. Yeah, he's the producer. Of Where can I find yeah. five blacks in the? Fimi Time label. Fimi Time. Yeah, yeah he's my brethren. Right. When he used to be on the street, he's a, 
is a man, he lost his foot in a train accident from back in about 56 or 57, long before we were born. Yeah. Well before me. <laughs> yeah. And it's our street bridging. But hear what now? When he start making these little songs with Errol Dunkley, I was developing up in the dance. Yeah? Rocking the mic and... And sound systems. Yeah, yeah. and the people crazy about it. Not even me didn't know how crazy they were. Right. Well, anyhow, Jimmy decided to take me to the studio and... He was itching, man. And Gregory Isaac had the movie star with the same Errol Dunkley. Uh -huh. But Gregory know what was happening. So Gregory said, boy. And you know, like back in that days, it maybe cost less than a hundred dollars to really put a record right. together. Yeah, alright. So we did the movie man for Gregory instead. Right, okay. And so if you're coming from far in a bus or a car. I beg you, make love and not war. I'm so sad to say that when you deal with war, you have to stay far. So you must make things right and do things right to make things bright in the middle of the night and whatever. Well, all I wanted was to hear that song on the radio, which was a hard task. I Gregory Isaac never have that power. And, right. Well, it sounds so good that we did back there. The black Cindy for Jimmy. And then Phil Pratt came and we did the Phil Pratt thing. Tell it black. Yeah. Still never get to the top yet now. Then this little boy from school, which is Gussie, come and we did the killer. Yeah? yeah? Psst. And then a couple of weeks from that screaming target. Boom, cause, album, or the tunes no, the single like, cause is movies, a movie we're singing about, you know. Right, right, it's a movie, Screaming Tiger. Yeah. Right. Guy, yeah, I was saying this, the brother Renka than Dirty Harry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Renka was rougher than the brother Callahan, Harry Callahan. So Screaming Tiger was a different thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Jayud, Aids. The Aids decide the movie Dirty Harry. Aids, but watch her, man. When's the gun, I'm on far with up a carib. And I'm on sight one of ya. Sure, that one a rain can dirty hear me, I tell you. You know? This one call. Ah! The screaming targets is out tell you, you know? Ah! Ah! Some scars screaming targets is out tell you. Bravo rain cut on the bravo call I had, you know? No, no, no. What you say no? Well, I say yeah. Cause you should never say no. And I would do the say yeah. And I bet you don't say no. So, then, by that, that we did the tip of tone rocking. Key thoughts and came now on. Boom, the S9, this gang, this one is gonna take off now. The same, the same Friday, Prince Buster came, we did Chichi Run, yeah? And a couple more songs, Ben Brown came, we did Opportunity Rock. So, is everybody seeing the phenomenon in right? Me just want to hear me on the radio. Me wasn't even thinking about the star thing on the money. Yeah. Well, I want to turn on the radio and hear Big you. Yeah. So, it's a, it's a take off now. Everything take off, man. I control the whole business. There's nobody else to be reckoned with. All of them, baby, baby, big jacket thing and love of this and that, that stuff work because I knew we have come through the system. We understand telling the people I saw his tea and cold breeze and sit at the dark at the bay. So, you understand? Mm. I have, of the lake. Right. What about um, working with the Abbey U to like lightning flash? It's all of that is 
help you helping you, helping a situation. Because at, the, at, at that time, nobody even knew about Yabi you. Nobody not hmm. talking about them, sir. So. Was that his first rhythm, that one? Yeah, one half. Yeah, but it, in order to reach survival, I must have a joy you would forget strength. Yeah. You understand? Till Joe Gibbs start to come, you have so steer, four man Fraser. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Everybody must pat in jail. All the producers start to rush in. And in no time, I have seven songs in the two chart. So, all different producers? Yeah. Right. Phenomenon, and but still, still not live nowhere. Right. Still live in a shark, and so I just get wise up. So, between 72 to 73, I start get wise. Make song like I pray, the hell is for heroes. I start sing conscious song now. Wolf Marcus, here, Marcus Garvey. Never know yourself till you're back against the wall, so. See if I all eyes out. Mm. You understand? Dread in a Babylon. So I'll Bob Marley have to leave him soul rebel thing and come watch the youth and them take it. Yeah? Yeah. Take Dennis Brown to all England as my opening act in the rainbow right. and all them things and you know? So that's why I was so self-taught, I don't believe in the managers because, like I tell you, I make so much songs and I don't see nothing from it because I don't know my rights. So, I don't want a manager. It's the kind of life I was going with, so. That helps set you back a lot, yeah? Mm. In this world. You can, for sure. Yeah. But, then again, it preserved me, boss. That's yes, right. Yeah, it preserved me because it keep me, it keep me less exposed. Mm. Okay. I was going to ask about, um, it seems like the, um, as the 80s came in, we heard less from Big Youth and the music changed direction. When because it them do on. it. Yeah. Them do it. Big Youth, Big Youth speak the truth. Yeah. And them don't want the truth. Them don't want the people to live and to be conscious. Because remember in the 70s, 70s people, people get vexed because them kids turn rasta, man. Mm -hmm. We don't talk about no race and no, all nation, any color people, go with them dreadlocks, because it's natural. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And we, did, we have less. We have less crime and less war in the world, less murder and less death, because the people live in true tranquility. Yeah. Hey, yo, what's up? What's happening? Yeah? Instead of man, I say, ooh, fucking nigga, you fucking white boy. We start generate. The whole of we are wear colours. Everybody smoke them weed, all of we are dance and yeah. the system, the brotherhood system no want a unity. True. So them create a force for promote some youth where uh, sing about underneath. Woman this, woman that, the wickedest gun and the, yeah? Yeah. Because it's the great music, music, the reggae music of a force that unite people. So them try to break up that unity. Mm. When you stop hearing about me, you get more conscious. Because I can make album like a Luther continue. Mm. Yeah. So, the, 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 more time, the, the, the system, man. You have a system where don't want you to tell the people for come together, start. So them keep all people like Big Youth and promote some stupid things around the people. Then the people who is still alive and know it's a big youth still alive go ask the question, what happened to him? Because mm. he's still rocking the world, why don't you bring him? So it's that reached many of them today and when them see me, it's like I develop them, I expect me to look like a old man, but I still I jump like a big youth. Big youth? Yeah. Yeah. Where did the name come from originally? I used to learn trade, do auto mechanic work. Right. And after that, now I started the diesel mechanic. That's like on construction site when they're building place like the Hilton and those places. Right. So, 
I was a small youth among some big man working, so everybody called me youth. Right. Then, work site finished and I started hanging on the street again, and most of my friends are some smaller youths. You know. One day, one said, Oh, you're so big and your name is youth. You must be a big youth. Big youth. Yeah. Hey, hey, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Yo, yo, stop that man, come on, I'm gonna chew all the stone them over there. I also call you Jayu as well. Yeah, Jayu, can Rasta Yu. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, Jayu, 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 because uh, it seems like consciousness has come back to the music to a degree, but it's still different to the it's not service. It's not consciousness today. More thing what them call consciousness are ignorance. People and them ideology. We, we was all ideological, because we have ideologies, yes? Yes. But the force now is not, is not it. The people them, them, them leave from the true thing, man. Cause that's why we say where the rap rap come from. Dancehall music, the big youth them start that. Dancehall music is unity music. It's not ignorance. It's, it's, a, it's a satanic beat. Like people I call the Japanese, them, them teeth were sewn. Cause them have technology, them teeth were sewn and sample them and make all kind of discs and all kind of instruments. So, they have some like commercial shit, man. We, we call them percussions. Most of these things that they make music with. Cause they make making, and... Yeah, it's man, it's the singers. If you read even the Bible, it tell you about the singers and players yeah, and all of yeah. instruments. All the God's springs are indeed. Yeah, it doesn't talk about the drum machines and Yeah, because it's, 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 it's people, so now generation, more time, we would have less crime because you'd have a set of you to hang play the drums. Mm -hmm. And next set one play the gates, and next one play the. And next set one go learn to play hands. Come on. Yeah. So, them take away all of that things. Because music is a force, like I said, it have no language and no barrier, you know. Big man, me, me still tour through Europe and those places and. Give thanks for all those kids in Europe yeah. who still hang on to the truth and know that we set the foundation. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Know if, the music and keep the fire burning. Where you come from in New Zealand, Australia, they would pay somebody that come and tell the people nonsense on their entourage. They to do fly, that. To fly a group and come down there. They but, do that all the time. But. When it come to big youth, they would say, boy, it's so expensive and it's so and so on. Yet big youth have the truth to teach the mm. youth. Yeah, it's because they promote, they promote nonsense on the radio in Australia and in, on TV. And so that's, when you come with truth, people don't know what it is. They, so don't know, they can't so relate so you to see, it. That's what I'm trying to tell you, son. Mm. But you, I know that this is the generation of them that seek my father facing. The truth will be heard. Mm. So all these people with them new nonsense. Me, big man. I see people like Bujibant and Rise in our farm. I like, like some of them going with it. But they must stick to it. Stay and with it. You have to stay with it. Mm. We're, not looking, we're not looking no favors and no fame. The truth is not no favors and no fame, man. The truth is the truth. It's not yes or no, you know. So. The truth is something will make you live. You go out there and you're catching an accident, man, and the vehicle crumble and you still firm. Cause God knew he wanted you to come back and tell the truth to a different set of youths. Right. Yeah? The big man, them, them trying to take the music down because we know the force of it. And remember, them, them take out Mali, you know. Then take out Mali because him, him get conscious to a level. Come and rate him, you know. Mm. Me, me, not rate the injustice for so them style for me and put everything there. But still, me love the man. The man was my bridging, him family was my bridging. But the system tried to separate that we don't live in love and unity. Yeah. But we still have the love. You understand? 
They are great people. People like all the prophet people, the next man. They would have said crazy, but him wise. Car is what you stick to. You understand? And yeah. you know when we used to sing in our different church, thank God big you never did tell nobody for bow. Or tell you about no under no parts. You understand? But a man that even used to do that. And now today can say something else in righteousness. You have to give thanks to that part because it's out of evil come good. But them just have some of these people as the devil's angel that go around and promoting nonsense speed. They never want to learn the truth. Right. And and that is the nonsense them promote to the airwave. Yep. And call dance hall and this and that because it's foolishness. Because the real heartbeat music, the driving force that bring unity, can make people sit down, groove together, live together. It's not there. Yeah. Got people just ray ray and yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah? The great. Look, 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 you like Sizzler start out great. And in this life, be, you'll be on top, but you have time to get stagnant. So if you stand for the truth, you will be a persecution, you will be a tribulation. Yeah? yeah? So you have to know, say, boy, I'm going to have a new car this year. Next year, I'm going to have a whole one. Or five years, ten years to come if you don't know what mm. you're doing. Because enough people are lucky you know, they don't have no business sense. Like how I say, I never know about my mechanical rights. I'm mean, not ashamed. Yeah? yeah? Now that I learn, I still think it's not too late. I lost a lot, but I've learned a lot. That's right. <laughs> yeah? yeah. So more, more to come, for sure. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Um, one question, just moving away from the music, I had to ask you about the teeth, the inserts in the teeth. That's one thing Big Youth is famous for. Is, is, the, is the old rainbow color? White, like, green and gold? Yeah. Because, like, we teeth them, these front teeth are kind of getting mess up in one, we drill them and fix them up. Yeah. And this one that, that big you just like to create his own image, you know? Yeah. So that's that's one of my trademark. Yeah, you could trademark. Yeah, and other people there's a lot of things man, there's a lot of things we do that people follow man. We say trend, we wear certain kind of hats, certain kind of things. Yeah. People adapt. I feel good when we see yeah. Principles, child upon and adaptions, yeah? yeah. What's well, the right, right thing? Yeah. Alright, um. All right, well, um, is there any, just to, to wrap things up, is there any overall message you'd like to pass on? I know the message is love, unity, anything you'd like to pass on to the Australian people? Yes, sir. Tell them that yes and no is not the truth. But the truth is the truth, and it's nothing but the truth. And you must still learn to love each other. Check for other people, know what's happening out there, yeah? Mm. And do right and not wrong, because it's good over evil. War is not the answer, only love can conquer okay. it. Yes, sir. Yes, Big U. Thank you very, very much for speaking yeah. to us on Chant Down Babylon. It's all good, so I have a Chant Down Babylon enough more time. Yes, sir. Uh, Give thanks, big youth. For us. Maximum respect. Yeah, man. Oh, is. <coughs> uh, that'll be wicked. That'll yeah. sound fantastic. Really? Uh, yeah. Big youth, is it true that um, for the S90 skank, you actually brought in a motorcycle yeah, into man, the studio? Yeah, man. the bike, man. In the studio, man. Yeah. Yeah, you could hear when the bike start, man. Yeah, yeah. At the beginning. Yeah. And create the talk, come on, say, you're lying, you would say, the man I deal with, that man I walk here, you know, well, him same guy, but. Because what really happened me, you know, be. I, I got in an accident at 12.20 in the afternoon and I didn't wake up until 7.30 in the evening. See it here? Yeah, I can see it. That is after. Because after we do that first song, the movie man with Gregory and I'm not hearing it on the radio or nothing. I was so miserable and Gregory gave me the stamper. And I got to press a hundred records. And on my way back, a car hit me on my mm. bridge and I have to bike. 
broke his foot and I was unconscious. I was the one they pronounced it. I'm the dead one. Yeah. And at 7 o'clock, I wake up, so I sing the ride like lightning, because if you ride like lightning, you, you crash, crash like, like thunder. thunder. Yeah? <laughs> Yeah, lion, you Zion. I'm on a hook, you know. I'm on a boss, you know. Right now, with him, who lie? With him, wild. With him, wild. I Right on. I wait. But don't you ride like lightning? Cause, man, if you ride like lightning, then you'll crash like thunder. So come on down along the way, now the song will lead the way. Cause I'm going down the tunnel, lead the ways I would read the bigger yo. Wow, baby! So, you see, a guidance, the music man, reggae music is a lesson, is a blessing. We're not talking about no boom, 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 this. We're talking about music with the singers and players and half of instruments. Yeah. You see it? Jazz, soul, blues, rock, any. We generate all music into music and make man That's how our reggae music come about, B. Because we're not the first key in certain things. We adapt. Because people was there making it before us. Yeah. Well, every day, I guess everything has come not just from yeah, and rock steady, but from R&B and everything. Yeah, and, and all your generate and the feelings that you have in order to express and put over your feelings. So. And we can tell the people them go and make good music still because righteousness exalt a nation. Sin is a reproach to man. And music and the righteous alone shall live forever. Yes, B. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, would it be possible to get a jingle for the radio show? No problem. Right, I'll just find the information. I wonder if my, my, my son all upstairs doing you know, a rapper, you know. Okay. Chant down Babylon with Jesse I. On PBSF, 106.7 PBS FM. Yeah. Melbourne, Australia. You don't have to mention that. This doesn't make it. Yeah. Right. This is the one and only big youth. We're going to chant with music. Say we're going to chant down Babylon with music. This is, and when I'm passing through, I listen to Jesse I and chant down Babylon in 106.7 PBS FM Melbourne, Australia. You should always check him out. Cha, 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 wa, wa, wa. Cha, 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 wa, wa, wa. Live it up, cha. You tune to Boss Radio 1 the land. With a temperature 85 degrees for a night. Kind of warm in Melbourne tonight, baby. You're on the chant down Babylon with Jesse I and 106.7 PBS FM. You should always check him out. Let's make every moment count. Let's taste the richness of life to the fullest amount. Jesse, I, between me and you, and all we've been through, there's no problems that we can't work out. Let's make every moment count. Chant down Babylon every time. Give thanks. The great big youth speaking in his front yard in Kingston in the Jamaican summer of 2003. You might have noticed a few dropouts in the recording of the jingles at the end there, which was a real shame, but I wasn't aware at the time and I didn't get a chance to ask him to redo them. It's bugged me ever since. A real enjoyable interview though and a nice guy to deal with. After we finished the interview, we drove downtown with him and voiced a dubplate special at Lego Studio on Orange Street, which was like going back in time. No digital Pro Tools recording there at the time. So that's it for the second episode of Jesse I Interviews. Please make sure to subscribe and please leave me a review on whatever podcast platform you use and help spread the word. And of course, please tune in again next time as I present an interview that a couple people have requested with the late superstar of African reggae music, Lucky Dubay. Thanks for listening. Eyes is every time. By the rivers of Babylon we sat And there we wept when we remember Zion We hung our hopes 
house in the willow in the midst thereof. Turn down sound. Naughty, naughty. Move ya! Naughty, naughty, naughty bongo. Naughty, naughty, China. Naughty, naughty, naughty Congo. You see the lightning stick up in a lightning yawn. Lightning clap and a jump and drop. Lightning stick up in a lightning yawn. A lightning flash and then a jump and drop. Can't only lick down in a sound and in a heavy, heavy town. It's a sound, what a man has sound this time, yeah. Ja, 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 ja,